<laughs> hi everybody hi so i think just now i yeah i was like i was i was trying to get like the starting soon done um but yeah anyway let's keep that starting soon and let's start now because it's 10 4 p.m hey good morning rk how are you how was your uh easter uh that was like two weeks ago or was it last week oh two weeks ago and there was also the um total solar eclipse did you see anything like did you uh were you able to get like this moment uh, a moment of darkness like a night scene um in the middle of the day like i, I see it seemed really cool um and i am so sad <laughs> because um here in asia uh, i don't think we will see it in another maybe 140 years and i probably won't be around to see it oh so aren't you guys lucky <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna like try to move my, um, let me set another, oh, okay, let me set another, uh, open up uh, my other uh, browser on the other side. Oh, you took some great picture, oh, that's nice, you want to share with us? How was it like, how do you feel, like, was it like, um, like really intimidating, like, I think, um, what's her name, I think Kathy saw that too, and she was like, Oh, she she had she had goosebumps. So I'm not sure if that the goosebump that she had was like the, um, like she felt so cool, like it's it's so magnificent, or it's she's like it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, I think for us, um, at least for me, I've seen the partial before, um, and it was it was interesting because the partial one, um, it was like in the middle of the day, so. You know, we couldn't, like, it wasn't like the, the, the sky went dark. It went a bit dimmer. And then if you, like, look at the shadow, like, we could see, like, it became, like, a crescent moon. So it was kind of interesting in, in that in that way. I've seen that one. But I've not seen a total, like, um, eclipse. So that thing, that would be, yeah, that would be cool. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and we when I do get to see it one day, I will I will be, like, really happy about it yeah so there you go all right so today um it's the fifth uh no it's the 2012 it's the 12th of april uh oh yo, okay so rk says it was very strange during during totality as the birds stopped singing and the crickets started chirping <gasps> what oh you know what i saw in like the um like the uh news so there there were like reporters um uh and and about uh, about like they went to the zoo and they found like the animals were behaving in a weird manner like they they seemed to think that it was like like um night time and they went to like went to went to the i i saw like the gorilla went back to their cave and and it was like oh okay <laughs> i wonder like how uh how they knew or it could be the darkness i don't know like it, it's just so interesting i don't know how that happened so like did they come back like when the sun came out and started to see them all coming out again like how do the dogs like react were they like like acting weird as well it's it's cool like i i don't know i feel like um i don't think i would see it uh wait hold on something is wrong with my chat okay i need to like okay let me adjust the chat it's a bit small so if i if i do that you will have to like kind of refresh so it will oh is it didn't refresh is it didn't refresh okay <laughs> so now you get to see tons of stuff um so anyway for this month uh we are doing um uh, the, the 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 challenge we are doing the haitian hey i think it's haitian all right it's haiti so um because we the month of this month is april we start with the letter h so um and the country of this month is ha uh, haiti um and and because we spin like this month supposed to be um opera pink but because of our pink, we have been doing a lot of purple and magenta and we thought that it would be a little bit overkill like if we, we go back to opera. Like something like a magenta color. So in the end, we chose, like we decided to push forward the, the, the uh, ultramarine blue, which is why you see all these ultramarine blue happening. And it happens like to be, uh, last week we did we did the spinning, we did the, the, the roulette and we, we, got, we got like monochromatic. So what it means is that you could use all the colors in the same hue angle. Um, oh, is it? Could you hear? Oh, it seems really... Oh, oh no. Could you hear? I, I think I'm a little bit far from the volume. Okay, let me see if I could adjust um, the volume a little bit higher. Hello? <laughs> I hope it's, it's loud, like it's a little bit too loud. I feel like it's very loud, but yeah, let me know if it's better. 
Uh, let me know if it's better, okay? So, yeah, so, so which is why, like, the monochromatic, we are using all the colors um, in, in, this, in this hue angle, which is uh, the blue-violet hue angle. And the colors that falls in the violet hue angle, um, violet-blue hue angles are ultramarine blue, uh, cobalt blue-violet, no, no, cobalt blue deep, um, uh, inming blue, right, and like lapis lazuli. So if you, ah, oh, hi, Kathleen, hi, good morning to Kathy, hey, <laughs> good that you can hear me. Am I like too loud now? Let me know if I'm too loud. Uh, better, but a lot of, yeah, I think the, the background's because of my, I'm like pretty close to my MacBook and it's just doing, it's, you know, it's trying to like, <laughs> Try to dissipate heat, <laughs> which is why you're hearing the um, it go, you know, like goes the weaning sound, the wheezing, weeing sound uh, from the from the computer. So I, I hope it's better now, okay? <laughs> yeah, yes. So it's my MacBook trying to say something. Okay, he's, he's, it's trying to say something. I, I realize the camera is a little bit out of focus as well. So just give me a few moments. Um, yeah, it takes me, uh, just give me a few moments. Let me just kind of adjust. Um, the camera so that you guys like I'm gonna like um, hopefully it gets it's more focused right now is it probably is better I think it seems to be more focused now okay I'm gonna adjust the I think the lighting is fine right it's it's bright enough I think it's bright enough yeah <laughs> okay I think it looks bright enough let me know okay I I, I, I keep I have to adjust it um, from time to time. So what what blue do you have? Like um, Kathy and I think Kathy has a very beautiful lapis lazuli. Are you gonna use the lapis lazuli or are you just gonna use the ultramarine blue? Because I have so many ultramarine blues, um, and I think for me, um, if you see from here, I do have two here. So this is the ultramarine blue light, and this is the deep. So can you see the difference? This is more red leaning, and this is less. Um, they are different brands, are they? I think they are different brands, but. Um, no, they're both from Shin Han. Okay, so these two are from Shin Han. And there's also like Ultramarine Finest. So Ultramarine Finest, um, you can get it from, um, what's that brand? Nigello? Uh, no, 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 no. Schminky? Schminka? Oh, using all. All! <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but for me, I think Ultramarine Blue, there's only like three types. I feel like there's only three types that's different. One is the light, one's the dark, and then there's the finest, which is from uh, Schminke. And that one has, it's not granulating, or it's very, like, it has a very low percentage of granulation because they make the, they, they, they produce very fine uh, ultramarine particles. Um, and these two other two, they're, they're just like different in hue. Like this is less, less red leaning than this one. Okay, so it's slightly different. And these are like, this is kind of purple. So the cobalt blue deep is so purple. Um, this is Blue Lake from Mike Knights, and it's a very interesting color. It feels like smalt, smalt but it is like non-granulating. Well, smalt is also non-granulating, but I, I think it's fugitive, so it's not a very popular uh, pigment. It's PB1, but, but it's quite nice. I quite like the color, um, and it's non-granulating. And then uh, I think that what you can do with this palette is um, you can use ultramarine blue, black and white so white you can also include like gouache so you could use like white gouache and you could use like like very different like black so i do have like you know the ivory black i also have the uh black tumarine to tumarine <laughs> no, tumarine tumarine um and they, they seem to be less granulating okay compared to like uh maybe the chorus black or lunar black or like hematite genuines which are which are like very granulating so you do have like granulating and non-granulating ones and you could like make different things like there are several things you can do so you're, you're not just confined to one colors you can you can do tons of stuff so yeah excited to to try this one out like i think we have been so colorful for the past few months um yeah, and I think it's time to do something like monochromatic. It'll be it'll be interesting. So are you guys like looking forward to doing monochromatic? And I for me I think it's um interesting because I have so many ultra rain blue. I think from last week when I was kind of like sharing with you guys like the color all the ultramarine blues that I have. Um I have just had like so many of them and uh hopefully and, and the good the thing about ultramarine blue is that everyone will have ultramarine blue and um second thing about it is it will it definitely have more than one like it's it's just crazy <laughs> kathy is, is is too so i think you can also use um any of the 
Hey, Ari, Ari, hello, Ari, and Ari has, <laughs> well, he he was doing some cleaning and, and he had an accident in his room and he has to redraw everything. So how, how how's your how's your progress with like redrawing it? Are you done with it or you still like in the process of redrawing it? But it was a pity because I think it was very well done. Like could maybe you could like use um your gouache on it, you know since you can't really use it for watercolor. And how do you get water all over your, your, your while cleaning your room on, on, you know, on, on the piece of paper? Did it drop into like a pail of water or something? Oh no, that's a worst. Um, yeah, to get your artwork destroyed. I think another thing that I think was, would be pretty you know, um, disgusting like would be to get mold growing on your brush, which was what happened to me. Uh, when I decided to bring my brush out, I went um, urban sketching, so I got like my travel brushes out and they grew, like I could see spots of white mold, like all the brush itself. So I think the reason because, you know, if I, if you were to like just leave your brushes like this um, and not like cover it, I think it's okay. But you know, most of the time when you have like a travel brush, um, you got to like fit yeah, I know. I think the issue was because, um, because I, it is a travel brush, and to fit this like puffy thing <laughs> into back into the ferrule, you would have to wet it. So I, I think it, it was just too wet, and I had to wet it to kind of like make sure that they all stick, and I could, you know, slot it in, um, and I left it in there with that the moisture and everything, and yeah, and grew more. <laughs> so scary. Like I thought, uh, if I leave it longer, I could show you the brush. It's So this was the one that grew mold. Um, we say Excoda versatile, versatile, versatile. I don't know. So I this is this this one absorbs tons of water. So it really is kind of a. I would say I could use it for for washing. So it's 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 a travel brush, and to slot it in, I had to like make sure you know this is kind of nice and and like pointed, so that I don't like get these things happening. So it grew grew mold. Yeah. And Housewoman, oh my god, how are you Housewoman? Hi, so House, Housewoman has been, well it has been a while since we've seen you. <laughs> no, but actually when I was like live streaming at Holland Village, I think it was like May, beginning of the month or something, um, Housewoman was there, so she was, she was there and said, she, she said hi. So, hey Housewoman, uh, took part in our sketching, um, our Christmas um a uh, collaboration the year before and i think she drew a violin i don't remember wrongly which was yeah i still remember it was very well done yay how are you housewoman have you been painting how's everything <laughs> mole sponge <laughs> no somehow okay i show you okay um sponge don't get a problem i don't get problem with sponges so my sponges remain dry can you hear it goes like like this, it's so dry. <laughs> so my sponge does dry, okay? Brushes? No. So yeah, <laughs> I have all these sponge. They are really good for, for watercolor use. Okay, let's start. You <laughs> I don't know, this um, Daiso washi tape is not doing it for me. Like why are they opening up? Ah! <laughs> Yikes. Oh no, okay. <laughs> So, oh, Housewoman says, no, I haven't painted for a year now. I need to get my mindset back. Yeah, you could start small. Like, so this month we are doing just a single color. So if you have ultramarine blue, this is the time to do it. And you know how we do our new limited palette challenge is, um, we have a, like a keystone color. So for the, the keystone color for this month is ultramarine blue. And then we spin for the scheme. And the scheme that we got for this month is like monochromatic. So we could only use this color or black and white. Okay. And then we, this is how it goes in a month. So we will do a flower, right? Like this week is flower week. Next week will be anything goes. So I would do like a, like maybe landscape. I would sometimes do like animals, right? As you can see. 
um, and the, the, the rabbit, you know. And then um, the last week of that month would be like portrait, and then we would do a show and tell. Like everyone would submit on Discord and everything. Yeah, so you could you know start from here, and then you know like um, for this month it's it's April. Um, if we go by the alphabet, and it's now H, right? And it's Haiti, Haiti. And then for 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 flower flora, you could also pick any flower that starts starts start with H. And of course, of course. I will be doing hydrangea. Okay, okay. Hydrangea is my favorite, like super favorite. So this is like my favorite flower, um, and I picked this one because can you see? Can you see like they have all these water droplets? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I think it would be nice to use the white, you know, and also like to yeah, it'd be fun. I think it'd be really fun. <gasps> oh, Ari says. Oh, for next week, draw a fan art, something to stir up the collection. <gasps> fan art. Ooh, what? How would you define a fan art? Like I, I haven't done a fan art. Like, could you like just give some examples of fan art? I'm, I'm like, mm, I am not sure. What sort of fan art are you referring to? Like, is it, um, like some sort of cartoon character or is some sort of like um, I don't know, like Taylor Swift? <laughs> it's too on around. <laughs> Maybe if I mention Taylor Swift, he will appear. But I don't know. Yeah, what are you gonna plan? What are you planning to do? So I know Ari is doing a different flower, which is, hmm, like what sort of flower would you be doing? Is, is this too, spe like, is this like too easy for you? I think hydrangea will be like, kind of like, <laughs> too easy for Ari. So anyone else have any idea, like what sort of flower you would do? Like I know um, for age, right? Um, hibiscus is also a nice flower. Like I, I would, like if I am not confined, no, actually no. Like if, if there's H, if, if it starts with H, I will definitely do hydrangea. There's no way I'll do anything else because I love the flowers so much. Hey Gina! Hey yo! Oh, good morning, Gina! <laughs> welcome, welcome, Gina. Yay! So oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's not working. Okay. I'm so sorry. My um I have this like um this is like a charger like holder thing, but it's not it's it's broken it's now broken ah, so i have to get a new one. Oh no i'll have to like stick it down with like super glue or something oh no okay let me see if i have anything else yeah i do have so this was actually for my last okay i i have this one so i'm gonna gonna use this for my um ipad because i need to draw the hydrangea okay so the okay i love hydrangea uh oh ooh, what's a hellebore hellebore Hellebore? Ooh, what's that? That sounds that's that's interesting. Okay, let me just check. Anyone else has any idea? Like what are the other flower flora that starts with H? I have not seen this one. How how do I pronounce this? Hele Hellebore? Oh so beautiful. But is it blue? Ooh, oh they have the blue one. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly share screen. Okay. <laughs> I hope I still remember how to share a screen. There, there. Okay, let me share a screen. Why oop no ah, window capture. Okay, let me just check. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, done. So oh okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, so this is the one. Oh look at that blue. Is this supposed to look like that? <laughs> yeah, Kathleen asked if uh, Horse Woman, if, if she is going to submit this month. Yeah, and more, the more the merrier because yeah, we, I, we always love to see more art um, and it's always nice to look at other people's, um, what people can do and it would be nice to see, um, you know, new interpretation. So, try, you, you know, you don't have to feel like obliged or you don't have to feel like it's, it, you got to be like really good. Um, because I know, you know, it, especially if you haven't been drawing for a while, it can be a bit intimidating. So yeah, just just do your best. Maybe just draw one flower. Um, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. But it's it's kind of interesting, like the colors that they have. I, I feel like, I don't know if it's ultramarine blue. I mean, this is like a little bit bluish. And then there'll be all these other, oh, so beautiful. I love this one. Oh, this is nice. Looks like Camellia. Wow. How do you know? Ari knows all the flowers. Like Ari is like one of those <laughs> person who knows all the different flowers. Oh, it's a late winter early spring flower. Wow. And you know when they flower. Like do you get this in Indonesia? Oh it's it's uh let me just kind of check out uh, where is it from. 
Is it like a tropical flower? It's Eurasia, okay? It's an evergreen flowering plant. Okay, Win it's called winter rose. Oh, okay, they're not, it's not exactly rose, okay. Oh, interesting, okay. Interesting to see all these. I don't think I've seen them in Singapore. I don't think they sell it. Like, it, it's probably the kind of, oh, there you go. They even show you where you can get it. Oh, it's like a, it doesn't see, I think it seems seem to be a, yeah, it's, oh, wait, wait, it originated in Europe and Asia. Ah, okay. Very interesting. Okay, thanks for sharing the flower. Okay, I'm gonna do hydrangea. <laughs> I know my flower is so boring. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up, okay, so that you guys can see this one. Ah, okay, and Gina says, Ah, I know, I know. Um, um the hi hibiscus is beautiful. I, I know what you are, I know what you mean, the highest, uh, highest synth? Highest synth? Highest synth. <laughs> It's this is beautiful as well. Look at that. Oh, I think this is also something. But I, I think it'd be difficult to Oh look at the flower. I think it's so suitable. Like it's so suitable for, for, for the for the challenge, especially like you could use um I guess you have to use something a little bit more like purple. But we I we we've done so many purple flowers already. Ah <laughs> Yeah higher scene. So I'm not sure if anyone here would be doing that one. And I think that's also like um they smell really good, really. Ah, I don't know. Okay. I have not. Uh, the one that they, 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 they put, that we have for Chinese New Year. What's that one? So there's, oh, Narcissus, Narcissus, Narcissus. <laughs> that, that, that flower called Sui Xian in Chinese. Um, it's, it, they grow from bulb as well. So I, I'm not sure if, they, if they're the same family or something. So yeah, there are all the flowers. So yeah, yeah. Tons of things you could do, okay? So it's always nice to, to have this. I remember like last year or so, we were actually doing uh, uh, food, you know, we're doing pastry and stuff. And it's really fun because we, we can, um, we kind of like see what sort of like uh, snacks uh, or food or desserts. I think it was like dessert, right? Um, were, 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 you know, um, that, that different countries had. And it was really fun um, to, to see that. Uh, and and yeah, and now it's flowers. So yeah, it's it's always nice to to just kind of like you know explore a certain topic, um, like really deeply. Um, yeah, I love hydrangea. I love to see the paintings, but I've never really attempted it properly because I feel like I'm I don't know. I think I'm like really lazy. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy artist. Um, I cannot imagine having to paint like petal. To, Pedal, pedal by pedal. <laughs> I cannot imagine. And, and this one has so many pedals. Ah, I don't know. Ah, okay. Slowly, okay. I'm gonna do it slowly. I'm gonna be careful. Um, yeah, I got this, okay. You know, I, when I think about having to draw the pedals, I'm like, oh. <laughs> the smell is great. Okay, I should go find the um, high seat, high high seen it, <laughs> My pronunciation. Oh yeah, Nari says after this is animal. Oh my god, that is also one difficult thing. Um, yeah, maybe we should do fan art. I, don't, I, I think, you know, you, you mentioned, like Ari mentioned fan art. Um, yeah, let me just Google, like, what sort of fan, what, what should I do for fan art? Like, fan art to me seemed like something that is a portrait base, and I'm, I am not really good at portrait, but we'll see how that goes. I remember like Ari actually did one like recently, right? No, no, last year she did one. Wait, where's my eraser? Huh? Eraser! I lost my eraser. Hmm, I wonder where's my eraser. Okay, let me look for my eraser because I think this is too small. Um, let me go look for it. Oh dear. Okie doke. Oh yeah, and, 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 and. <laughs> So I last, last, yesterday I was at Overjoy and got this. Um, and I really am loving the dragon, dragon's blood because look at the name, it's so cool, dragon's blood. It's in fact, so it's in fact, um, natural red NR31, so it's natural color. I'm not sure if it's um, fug fugitive, um, they say it's not, so I don't know, but I'm really looking forward to painting. Um, yeah, I don't know when we will get, maybe we might get something. 
fan art or something blue. Oh, okay, little blue man. I don't know, Smurfs? <laughs> you guys know Smurf? Anyone here know Smurf? Like, am I the only one who knows Smurf? Um, the blue, like, the blue creatures. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyone here doing um, painting, like, doing the hydrangeas as well? I feel like I, okay, what I'll do, I, I mean, this, you may, I, I may be sketching this out, right? But I think in the end, I may not be sketching out. I may not, I may not be filling this one out because it really depends on how big um, these are. Um, so, yeah, it's, it might not be this big. But I think the most important thing is painting it out um, and getting the um, colors right and getting the, yeah, it to look like hydrangeas. I, I try it like once. How many petals? Ari, do you know how many petals are in, in a hydrangea flower? Are we, are we doing high seeds? Oh, okay. Nice. Nice to know. Nice to know that we are all doing different things. I can imagine like if you're doing different, same thing. Um, it, it, it's kind of interesting though. Like I also like, I like to see Kathleen's, Kathleen's work because Kathleen has this like very interesting illustrator. Um, oh, four? Okay, okay, one, two, three, four. That's correct. Thank you very much, Paolo. Thank you very much, Ari. Like, I haven't done, you know, like how people that do the, um, the painting, um, not, not painting, like when, when they do the, like, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. <laughs> so with the, like the, with the, with the roses. Um, so yeah, hydrangea, mm. <laughs> don't do that because, uh, you, 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 you know, you know the outcome it's really easily because there's only four petals, <laughs> but you have the whole bouquet to do it. I, I don't know. There seem to be like so many bouquet, like so many petals. I am going to die painting this. Ah, I think this is going to push my patience to them. Um, it's going to make me, uh, it's going to like touch on my limit of pa my patience limit. I am not a, li a very patient person. Um, and uh, I don't know how. <laughs> Gina says, I look forward to Fridays with you all. Oh, we look forward to you coming in as well. Thank you for joining. Yeah, it's always nice to, to know, like to have people to hang out with. And, um, and then we all like have very similar, like um, love for art and, and love for watercolor. So what 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 are you guys up to um for this week other than the solar eclipse and um yeah post uh post uh what to go call that uh the uh, Easter blue <laughs> will anyone get like a post Easter blue like you know as opposed to like post Christmas blues <laughs> they'll be funny to 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 um yeah I don't think so because I feel like um it's in the, in the states it's not as popular i feel like it's not as popular as like in in the in europe because i remember uh when i was in paris many years back people would just disappear for like the whole week uh to 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 just you know travel and visit friends and stuff mm -hmm. Gina's, um oh ari says i need more colors for hydrangea yeah like pink green and yellow that's true but h no i feel like i shouldn't i should i should like I understand what you mean, but I think it's 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 good to to just do something, um, focus very well on the on getting the colors right. I feel like if you it it would be very challenging to to produce something special, um, you know, like for me as an urban sketcher or, or like a person who loves to do ink and wash. I feel like sometimes I, I concentrate a lot on um, getting the colors like just a very quick wash. Um, and then I don't really think too much about like making it special um, or, 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 you know, I feel like once you put the colors in, you know, it'd be easy. Like it you look nice. It will look good. Okay. You know, um, but if you only have one color, mm, that's, that's something that you need to make it special. You, you are, you have to put in more effort to make it look nice. Um, yeah. So this is going to be a very interesting challenge because then, you know, you, you are, it's up to you to make your painting nice. Um, you got to make the colors right and, and stuff like that. So it, it's, it's not easy, okay? Yeah, it's great for value. That's right. And Gina says, I would just paint them. First drawing would take me forever. Oh, yeah. Just paint it, right? Just don't think too much. Just do it. 
Yeah, I know. I think it's good for to learn the different colors and values. So another thing that you could do is like like just rather than looking this as like looking at it as colors would be like to change this to one tone. So it, you'll be um like black, you know, and then you have like the dark areas, really dark black, and then the lighter areas. You could use less colors. Um and I think I would try to le leave um like white. So for the whitest, like the lightest part parts of the this painting. Um, I would leave it like, yeah, un unpainted. I don't know if that's gonna happen. You know how my paintings always end up, end up looking. Uh, I can never do those uh those paintings with like whites. Everything is colored. Um, yeah, it's forever. Like this is kind of like the way I paint. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I I feel like it it's it's a uh, it's something that I need to practice like leaving um, parts of uh, the painting white and, and just letting the paper so show through yeah oh oh yeah i have a little question for not little but for all of you here who like paints right watercolor is what it what brand of watercolors have you tried that is very durable like what i mean by durable is when you you scrub when you use like masking tape masking fluid what's the brand of paper that does not peel off because you know there's some brands I'm gonna show you like this one for Hannah Monet Honey Monet Honey Monet <laughs> the little like uh, Honey Monet it's uh, it peels peels off like the let me just show you so this is my short front challenge one and I realized that it, yeah can you see like it's broken so the the I when because I I do like put lay um the washi tape around. And when I peel off, I can peel off parts of the paper. Um, and I, I don't know, I, when paper do that, I am quite irritated. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I'll be like, mm, you bad paper. So anyone here knows, like, if there is, like, what's your most durable paper that you know? Like, for me, I feel like, oh, I'm top of my head, just like this. Um, I think you'll be Bahong. Bahong paper is one of the best. Um, anyone else knows of anything? Ah, okay. Paolo says, paper with hard sizing usually very resistant. Like example, like arches. What do you mean by hard sizing? Less in it's internally sized or what? How, how do you know if it's like hard sizing? You know, I, I feel like there's so much to learn about watercolor. Um, okay, reason why I'm asking this is because I am going to test one of a, 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 a ink, a black ink that is pretty interesting like it it whether or not it is um durable or it's waterproof depends on what sort of paper you are using it on and i'm i'm thinking like for to use it properly i had to find a paper that is really very uh, durable ah okay Ah, okay, Honey Monet is rather soft okay it will tear internally and externally sized okay and heavily sized Oh, so okay, Ari says I ha oh no, um, Paolo says I had some luck, ha I have had luck with some cellulos paper. Really? Like, for example, which brand would be a good brand? So far, I I think the best is Arches and Bahong for me, but they are 100% cotton. Um, most of the other brands are tear pretty badly. Uh, okay, your left tape and masking fluid on those papers for like one year and it came off really well. Ooh, you should share. I think it's it's interesting to know because I think nothing makes an artist, like watercolor artist or like urban sketcher, more angry than having to tear out these things and then you tear a paper out. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'll be so irritated. <laughs> oh, don't try sell loose with tape, masking tape. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, uh, yeah, which is why I, I'm using washi tape. And sometimes even in washi tape, if you t use too much water, like too heavily, it, it might have an issue uh, with the tearing. And and I, I, I hate it if it happens. <laughs> even with washi tape, okay, like my you. Um, and uh, there's some um, some papers like um, Saunders Waterford, it loses its um, sizing so too quickly. It's very hard to use, like to buy a large amount of it and use it. But most of the like China brands, I feel other than Baohong, they tend to be not so resistant. So I don't know. Ah, okay. Ah, Mondel is rather durable. Okay, 
<laughs> Ari says he tried. Oh no, Ari, maybe you're you're too strong. <laughs> maybe Ari is too strong, or maybe um I think Asia is too too humid. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you try Suzanne. Oh, yeah, painting with the tape more than a year. I think it may be because in Portugal it's um less humid, so it dries so much better faster. I feel like if you had like used the paper. Um, you had like masking tape and if you use tons of water on it and it dries with the tape still on and you leave it for a long time sometimes it it will just dissolve and like you there's no way you can get the papers out um, actually i tried it with arches before like i i you know remember i had like those really big um commission and that was once like i take took me so long to the commission that i had like issues the tape like masking tape just like sticking to the paper and then when I try to remove it I get residues on, on the on the on the painting so I think it really depends on how you use the paper right it can be you know yeah it does and all thing Ari says it tries Suzanne and it seemed to be is it Suzanne I'm gonna pronounce it Suzanne <laughs> try Suzanne seemed to be okay it will make some test leaving ah so you tried that oh never ruined Mondel so it could be how you use it, I don't know. It could be the, you know, where you use it as well. So I think it's pretty interesting, you know, how paper, like, behaves differently and in different um, area, like, location. I think it's the same with watercolor um, as well. Like, it really depends on the kind of, like, um, water, um, like, hardness. I don't know if water hardness would change anything. But I remember if you use, I heard from some watercolor is like if you use a different hardness um the water hardness you might change like some granulation properties i'm not exactly try it i'm not exactly i don't have like a good explanation for that um or any like some sort any form of like um you know good advice for it but i've heard people talk about how you know watercolor hardness can can change the granulation Ah, okay. Oh, but people say you can only have it like 24 hours, but I think it depends on the conditions. Ah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard that as well. Like with, with a masking fluid, you should never leave masking fluid on, on your painting for too long because, um, you yeah, know, think about it, right? Masking fluid is some sort of glue, right? right? So if you leave it too much, it might just, you know, get, it might stick there forever. <laughs> like it might be permanent. Um, so just be really careful. So I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do here, right, is try to be as accurate as I can. <laughs> I'm so lazy sometimes that, you know, if there is no proper form, um, I feel like like flowers and architecture, it's, it's kind of similar in that there isn't like a very particular way you need to paint it. Um, yeah, so wait, hold on. Yeah, you can add like an extra petal and no one would know. But for portrait and stuff, you need to be really, really accurate. If not, people will see the difference and they will tell you, oh, it doesn't look right. <laughs> but I think this is something that, yeah, but I'm, I'm trying here. I'm, I'm trying to be really careful and I'm trying to do every petal. Okay, I'm not sure if this would like work would, would, like, would, 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 uh, well because I am, I'm not a patient person. But yes, today I have time. I have only one color. There's no much mixing. So I have no excuse not to do this properly. So I'm going to do it properly. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, uh, there you go. Let me see. Ah, okay. Paolo says you can replicate the hardness of water by adding some calcium salt. But uh, you need to find calcium salt in the first place. And where can I find calcium salt? Like, can I find it in baking stores? Or, like, I have to go to a pharmacy? I don't... I have no idea. And Kathleen says, Le lesion and blocking for what? Pool and tall for me. I like Arches and Pao Hong. Yeah, yeah, me too. So, I, I think Arches and Pao Hong so far are those that will not... They don't... Like, the, the surface stay, stay really, really well. So, anyone else has any idea? Like, mm. <laughs> Because I, I think it'd be nice to have more... Mm, I wouldn't say cheap, but more affordable papers. Okay, Pao Hong is kind of affordable. Yeah, so maybe I'll just use Pao Hong as, a, as an example. But yeah, it's just something that I think it would be interesting to test because um, that, that ink that I, particular ink that I have, 
um, will tear, like will will come off if I rub too much. So I'm I'm just wondering if if the surface, if it's like more durable, would that affect? Like would it bind to the paint better? Um, or it has no effect at all. I, I feel like this is all like science. Like sometimes you just have to test it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, okay. I don't know. Like I, I, I have no idea if, if how the water will do anything. Also depends on the tape that you're using. Mm. Uh, even on masking fluid. Okay. I only use... Oh, you only use artist or empty tapes. Oh, I, I use all sorts of like Daiso washi tape. As long as washi tape, I can use them. Some, like somehow I only use washi tape now. I don't really use masking tape because it just, it, it, you know, it, it makes, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Every time I try to pull it out, like if I see like just a little bit of it like coming up, I will, oh, <laughs> no. Okay, Nari says, oh, use drinking water. Yeah, I, I use drink, oh, I use tap water. So I think drinking water, some of the drinking water has like the ions taken out. And yeah, and oh, Kathleen's off walk to a dentist. Oh, for root canal. Ooh, okay, I hope it's not painful. Have a great day. I hope that it will be a painless um, um, dentist, dental visit for you. Um, and like, yeah, I <laughs> hope to see uh, you post your artwork, okay? So that's my hydrangea. Oh, it's not, I don't know. I feel like it's incomplete. Uh, I have to find a way. So what I'll do today is... Yeah, I'm going to just paint the hydrangea and I'm not going to think too much about the leaves and everything. I'll, I will leave that for later. I'll just start to paint. <laughs> oh, so stressful. Okay, I, I am not looking forward to painting hydrangeas. I mean, I love hydrangeas, but why I'm not looking forward is is that I think I need to be, like, I need to concentrate. I need to, like, be very careful where I paint because I want to make sure that it is, um, it follows the picture. Okie dokie. Yeah, so that's about um, watercolor and paper. So I think we concluded that um, I could try Mombel. I might. I have used Mombel before, but I don't. I don't really like it. I think for me, it's a surface. I feel like it's a bit. <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. Like watercolor doesn't really like it. Kind of sits on top. Like, there's some paper, right? It just blends in so well, like arches. I don't know. <laughs> it has been a while, though, since I used it. But yeah, I, I use it very early on uh, when I was doing, uh, when I started watercolor. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the colors that I have prepared. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, even though it's a monochromatic, right? I have so many colors. So this is, these are two um, ultramarine blue, right? I squeezed them into the pen. I believe they are from Daniel Smith. Um, I think they are deep or French ultramarine. So uh, ultramarine deep is also equal to French ultramarine. So you're just wondering what? They are all PB29. Um, this is ultramarine light. So this one is slightly less granulating. It's also less, um, it's more, not so blue, -lean. it's not so red leaning. Um, so this is um, from PWC Shinhan. Um, this is the Cobalt Blue Deep PB74. This is from Schminka. I think Schminka is the only one that makes this one. I'm not sure if anyone else is. Uh, I think other there are more make makers, but the Schminka one is the one that I have and I, I love it so much. I, I, I'm finishing it already. Like, <laughs> who uses <laughs> Cobalt Blue Violets? Uh, Cobalt Blue Deep um, and like almost finish a 15 mil tube. Me. <laughs> Okay, and I also have like two, I have three black. So this is ivory black. Ivory black, I think in the past, it's made from Eleven Tusk, right? Um, and then we also have like the, uh, I believe this is from Roman Schmalz. This is the Aquarius black, right? It's also PPK11, um, I think so. This is from... Uh, White Knights, it has this like really unpronounceable name, so a, a black starting with V, but it has a red color. So this is the one. Okay, so it has like kind of a, like a burnt umber color. I don't think I'll use this one. Uh, I'll probably be using the other one. So this is, oh, this is Lapis Azuri from um, Sminka, and it's one of the worst color I've used in my life. <laughs> it's a waste of my money. Oh, Winston Newton has one. Okay. Yeah, so I think 
yeah, I, I don't. So it brought. It seemed like there are probably more brands with that. Um, yeah, but they are very expensive because it's cobalt blue. Anything that's cobalt blue is kind of anything is cobalt that's kind of expensive. Okay, let me start painting right now. So it's gonna be so simple paint. I hope. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be really careful today. Um, I will. I will use the cobalt blue. I uh, no, the, the ultramarine blue light first. And I'm gonna just use it on. I'm gonna squeeze this here. Okay, I'm gonna like just use this um, and paint it like the base. And I will use on. Uh, you know, there's certain portion that's kind of more red, right? Like, can you see like like maybe like here? It's a mid. Like you can see the magenta on some of these. So um, I will. I'm not sure if I can see the difference. I'm not using buff titanium. I am not using buff titanium because buff titanium has a bit of like yellow to it. Um, yeah, so I most probably be just be using all my um, ultramarine blues um, and also maybe all the blacks for the dots. Yeah, but because just because, okay, there's no mixing, so it's gonna be a little bit boring for people. So I'm gonna use the my reservoir. Um, Escoda size 6 reservoir um, and I also have um, the smaller brushes I think the smaller brushes would be instrumental okay for like the details so I love buying small brushes I recently got this one this is the Rembrandt Rembrandt Kolinsky mix um, zero zero like tiny tiny brush sorry sorry tiny tiny one so this one would be good for the veins um, yeah so let's go let's go <laughs> Are you gonna use the buff titanium? What which where where's your buff titanium from, Ari? So um let me I'm mixing the colors and I'm gonna just add water and just yeah this mix oh so boring today's gonna be one color <laughs> ah, it's gonna be one color show it's gonna be a boring one color show okay let's mix a different dilution of it okay let's mix different dilution of it. At least you can mix different dilutions for it. <laughs> oh, you mix it yourself? Oh, and okay. Uh, serene blue would be pretty. Yeah, I think it would be. But serene blue is not in the same hue angle. So I can't use it. Oh, horrors. Okay, I'm going to make it super. I'm going to dilute it even more. Because we, we're going to do the base. Um, I hope it's not going to be too easy. No, it's not. Okay, I'm going to paint one. So I think the difficulty is actually looking at the... Uh, okay, I'm gonna make this even lighter. I don't know how people do it, you know? Like when you paint, um, do you start from... Like if you want to leave it like white, right? How would you paint it? So I'm, I'm gonna just ooh, use a very... Make it really, really light. Uh, maybe even more. So I, I'm gonna make a very, very, very light mixture. Like super, like near that watercolor, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I will try it. I will try it. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it'll be fun to to just just have like very light color. I feel like it's it's nice to to just try painting it at, at a very light color way. And I've been always been thinking of a way to like paint like um botanical botanical artists. Um, I will try using a smaller brush. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna deep uh, put a darker color. And uh, hmm, I don't know how they made manage to get the colors to kind of just move out. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm doing, thinking of doing, just getting the colors out. Um, like hopefully, just you know, goes out so that we get some sort of um, uh, graduation, like the yeah happening. Um, and I think. For things that are not so soft, you gotta wait a bit, okay? So far, I'm liking it. I think, <laughs> I think this is cool. Yeah, yeah. It will take a while, you know. Oh, so I am wondering where where are some people um like uh Nancy and um uh, and Greg because you know like I I remember like last week I was like kind of asking people if they could make it uh on saturday mornings and i don't know if they thought that today is gonna be the day that i will stream on saturday morning 
<laughs> Oops. But I did send out, right, the, the, you know, the, what do you call that? Um, the, uh, no, 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 the post on, 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 on uh, YouTube. So, mm, no excuses. <laughs> no excuses. <gasps> Kermitty! Yay! Hi, good evening. How are you? Hey, yo, yo, yo. Oh, Gina says she has gotten, oh, a set of weasel. Weasel round brushes. <gasps> What, what, like they're from Weasel? Weasel hair? I don't think I tried any Weasel hair brushes. I've tried, I think, um, mostly <laughs> Colin's key. Um, I think there's goat, goat hair as well for the Chinese brushes. Don't think I tried Weasel hair. Very interesting. How, how, how different is it from the other brushes? Like, is there a reason why you got Weasel hair? It's interesting, you know, to, to actually learn from you guys like all these different things that people, you know, uh make into make brushes with. Yeah. How how are you, Kamedi? Are you are you gonna paint with us? <laughs> Do you paint? Uh because I think we we uh this month is kind of easy, you know, in the sense that you know you don't have to look for the colors because I think most people would have ultramarine blue. It's like the most I would say like the most common, commonest color ever. Commonest color you can find. Um, you know, everyone everyone should have this one. So no excuses, don't can't say you don't have it, okay? Everyone should have uh Ultramarine blue. Oh no, been busy and sick. Oh no, what happened? I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're feeling better. I also, I think, uh, was it like last week or so? I think I was sniffing, remember? I was like sniffing, sniffing and like <laughs> having running nose throughout the whole live stream. Yeah, that was, that was pretty rough. Um, yeah, I hope you, you're feeling better. Uh, no fun at all no fun at all and you know like um on this wednesday like last the wednesday uh, that just passed was actually like a holiday um it's actually the hari raya um hari raya pasa hari raya pasa so in singapore we don't we, we call it hari raya pasa i'm not sure what what in in other countries what they call it um it's um the muslims celebrates it after like the month of uh fasting um, Ramadan, they call it, right? The the, the whole festival thing, um, and and it was a very interesting um, festival, and you know people have night markets and stuff, and and yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's pretty interesting. So yeah, that so that's that's about uh, that what happened this whole weekend. Um, yeah, very much it. So I don't know. I feel like it can be better. Uh, oh, Gina says they were long hair, so I had to try them. Oh, they are very cute animals. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. How how do you feel it? Like, what do you what do you think it it's good for? Like, what do you use it for? Or it's just just good for any watercolor. You know, like how the um the the squirrel hair is good for making uh they're very absor they are very absorbent, so you can use it for like um mops and stuff. Uh, if you need a lot of water um, capability, you know, like for it to, to, to get the water. Like I find it very hard to be able to get the, the strokes. Um, this is going to take me so long. Like how do you guys, like do you paint, like, uh, I don't know. How do you paint like veins like this? Like do you drag it and then you, you, you kind of like dump like, move the angle down so you it's a thicker line at the bottom by the back should i bring this down a little bit further so you guys can see what's going on i am not sure i feel like it might look okay but it's gonna take me a long time to 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 get this in there um committee says that it's the flu season yeah everyone falls sick so i yeah happy or glad that you are feeling better okay so i'm gonna bring this down a little bit further so that you can see the details i don't think yeah about this this would be a good size like this would be a good good length i'm gonna try to move this a bit oh okay is this like better okay i hope that this okay I'm, I'm gonna like just bring this one up you know the the camera up uh my camera okay 
let's check. I'm gonna bring my camera on to the other side. Sorry for taking time to adjust. I think sometimes you just have to adjust it. Okay, let me hold 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 on for a minute. Let me make like uh minimize one window and we're gonna move the camera uh, over so that we could see um whether we are good okay so i'm okay auto focus okay i'm gonna turn off the auto, auto focus just bring this down a little bit i feel like sometimes the auto focus is not too good at it yeah okay there you go all right so yep let's uh continue hmm I feel like I need to scrub some stuff out. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna bring a, a bit of uh, a paper, a towel. So you give me a minute, two minutes. Okay, I'm back with the towel. Oh, this is gonna take me the whole night to paint. Ah, oh, what is this? But I, I, I mean, I think, I think it'd be a little bit. Um, disappointing to paint flowers like it's no fun painting flowers is just one color <laughs> what do you guys think like i feel like it, it, it's it's kind of like oh why do you have to do this the flower is so beautiful and we have to just use one color <laughs> oh i guess that's how it is like that's a challenge is, is a challenge so we just have to do it right <laughs> it has to be like h yeah <laughs> Okay, hope that you guys can see this one. Um, oh my god, I feel like this is gonna be difficult. But I will persevere. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So this is about the... Uh, I'm just trying to get the veins. Um, yeah, just... I, I think I should leave this to a bit later. Maybe I'll start painting the rest first because... Yeah, but this is gonna be how deep I want it. Let me just see if I could use another. Maybe I'll try to use another ultramarine. So this is the ultramarine deep, the French ultramarine. So this is the other one. Can you see the difference in the color? So this is a bit more blue leaning, this is less. So I will try to see if I can like make a bit of a difference. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Does it look any more different? <laughs> Just a wee bit, yeah? Just a little bit. Yeah, but it, I mean, that's the best I can do uh, with with Ultramarine. I mean, with, with a single, single brush, single color. It's not much different. Like, I, I really like to see how you guys, like, manage. Like, how would you manage to paint something, like, really well with just one single color? Well, okay. Yeah. So tomorrow I'm going out for a lunch um, at a really nice fancy place. So hope to be able to share some pictures on Discord, maybe. So yeah, just tune in like <laughs> for my videos, okay? Um, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna start to move on to another like this is gonna take so long. This is gonna take a long time. It's not it's not easy. Um but I think what I'll do is I'll I will try to get like the layers, the colors down. Um and and because we are should be able to get um like um white in. So it'd be nice to paint the, 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 the you know, the um, flower and together with the water droplet. So I'm looking forward to actually doing that one. So what I'm doing right now is just getting the colors, the petals to to come in um, and try to get like the, yeah, just try to get some of these like colors. Very, very diluted um, and then maybe with a bit of water just so that the colors are um, the whole thing has a bit of blue in it, yeah, and then we just slowly, slowly paint um, petals in, one by one. 
Yeah, it's gonna be very slow and painstaking. You know what I can do? Maybe I should start like painting the, the shadows. Like that's gonna give us some dynamic dynamic colors. Okay. Yeah. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Okay, I think I can just uh, hide my camera. Um, yeah, and let's just bring up the YouTube righty. Okie doke. So there. So you know the, um, what's that? Um, Jackson's um, watercolor, no, no, Jackson's art. Price. Um, they just announced their shortlist, and I, yeah, I don't see any one of you. <laughs> Did any one of you take part? <laughs> now I think we're talking about like taking part, right? But none of us took part <laughs> in the end. <laughs> I don't know, like, what's stopping all of us from taking part in an art competition? I guess it's the like the paying. Like, has anyone has anyone? Oh, so sorry. Has anyone here tried um, an art competition? What do you think? Like, <laughs> is it um, Ari? Ari, have you tried an art competition before? I think especially now that you know Ari is now an art teacher. Oh, been busy. Yeah, I remember you are studying. You are been. You are teaching, right? How's your students? How's the class going on? And you know, are you having very um fun, loving? Like, do they love art? Like, are you inspired to pay more, or are they inspired to pay more? Like you. Have you been able to, you know, how have you been teaching them just drawing? Or are they like, are they learning new stuff? Like, are you all starting to paint? Is it like an art school that you are teaching at? Okay. I think I'll start to paint. Um, mm, just put a bit of. Just trying to get the colors down um, bit by bit. This is not easy, definitely. Oh, I've been assigned to teach color pencils, huh? <laughs> what? Do you start with water? Do you start with uh, color pencils? Um, as an like as an artist, like do you start with that? Oh, how how how? Why why have you been assigned to do uh color pencils? Were they like impressed with your water with your color pencil uh works more than your watercolor works? Pretty interesting. Yeah, maybe you should share. Or have you been have you shared with us your your color pencil work? Be interesting to see. Um, like, is it any different from, like, uh, I mean, for me, I feel like color pencil is too slow, but that's just me. But color pencils can sometimes be uh, very realistic, very realistic, and you have to be quite patient, I feel. Like, if you want to do it well, you have to be kind of patient to make sure that you get, um, you, you, you do, like, the, uh, blending very well things like that i feel like could, this could have been you know i think i have to scrub some of this off i feel this is a little bit too strong okay let me let me scrub off stuff give me a few minutes i think i need to screw up off. i feel i can i think i can scrub off yeah the good thing about using um bao hong is it's so scrubbable like i could just do this and I could still paint over you know so I'm just going to scrub this off okay it's too strong but I could just screw up scrub 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 and it's still it'll be coming it will come off like really really easily yay so it saved me uh my life so many many times you know I've spoiled almost spoiled so many um uh a lot of my portraits so yeah it kind of helped Oh, you're doing one right now? Like, as I'm doing this? Like, is it for the class? What, you, what are you painting? Are you doing, like, a fan art? Or, like, is there a subject 
do you get to choose what you you teach the the the, 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 the students how old are they are they like kids or adults like, i hope we could like you know this reminds me like we I, we used to be able to share screen, you know. So I, yeah, it would be better if we could, if we could, like you could do a little share screen and could see what you're doing, and we could see like what everyone is doing, like what art you're doing. How many of you are actually like painting, uh, with me? I mean, you don't have to paint the same thing, you know. It could be just painting. Um, who's who's painting? <laughs> It'd be interesting to see, right? Like how many people are actually painting? I I feel like this is not like as easy as I think it is gonna be because I think it's so difficult to actually get all the values you can you kind of need to to like kind of go through this once and twice it's not like colors um, once you get the colors in everything's there you know everything you 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 can kind of tell what's going on but when you have one single color it's just so hard like you have to you have to measure you have to know like which part is darker and which part is less dark oh you see that all Okay, <laughs> you can draw that like cute sea turtle um, uh, in um, the Dory show. Oh no, what's that show called? <laughs> I almost forgot the name. <laughs> uh, Finding Nemo. Is there a turtle there? Don't remember. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so this is... Uh, let me see. Uh, I think I need a bit of blue here. So sorry. I think this is gonna be a bit like dark. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on for a minute. Uh, let me check. Uh, this is gonna be a bit quite dark. So I, I will maybe should I try to work on the black first? Maybe I should do the blacks. I think that's gonna help me a lot. I feel like I am like lost because I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna use um the Aquarius black. Okay. No, I no 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 no. no. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I should not be using Persian black. Okay, I'll be using the vine black. No, 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 no. My, 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 my. What's the other one? Mwah. Ivory black. Be using ivory black. Okay, there. I will be doing the the shadows first. Then I will work on um other parts of the painting. Yeah, I think that should be the way. I feel like today I'm so lost. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, people. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Okay, hold up. Let me just kind of check that this is okay. All right. Okay, so this is the uh, ivory black. This is Winston Newton. So reason why I'm using Winston Newton is because I don't buy black, right? The black happened to be from a set. So that's like very much like for me where the blacks and whites are coming from because i don't buy whites and blacks and most of them come like from sets that i buy and i always hate it when i get like those colors because i've never used them so i i think it's it's interesting that i have to use it this time yeah yeah okay let's do it so i think it's it's i'm, I'm gonna do the black can I check with Ari? Like, do you paint from what? Like, light to dark? Um, in, in this case, if it's a monochromatic, how do you approach it? How would you approach it? Like, if it's a, uh, if it's uh, monochromatic, would you start from light to dark? Or would you, like, have dark down first as what I'm doing right now? Um, because I want to make sure that I, I have the colors down properly. I don't think any a uh, lot of people have uh, what do you call that experience with uh, painting dark colors. I mean, like single monochromatic painting. So yeah, but I believe in school, like in art school, they probably force you to do it because it's probably gonna like they're gonna use this as like a teaching point to say you know. You, this is gonna help you when you're an artist. It's gonna teach you values and stuff, and gonna force you to paint. All the same, really, as usual. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I, I need this because then at least I know what other areas. I feel like it's very hard for me to see the areas well if I don't have like the dark to kind of guide my my eyes. So the yeah, so that's why I'm just using it as like outline. So I'm just gonna outline the parts first. 
Yeah, don't follow me, okay? This is how I do it. Like, it might not be probably... The, it's probably a different way. Like, it's... Yeah, probably don't have to follow me. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna use... um. Sorry, yeah. I'm gonna use uh the granulating blacks at the bottom because then I could like add water and it's just gonna like you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty quiet today. So I, I feel like everyone's um the usual you know the usual people who are very um active are not around, so it feels very, very quiet today. But there are like a lot of people I, I feel like the there are viewers, but it's just that they are not talking much. Um, yeah, but I guess it's it's just how things happen sometimes. You know, everyone feels like they want to talk. Um, yeah, so I am just doing all the talking, so you just only hear me. <laughs> it feels like um, me talking. Uh, this reminds me of like times when I actually started uh, uh, doing lives, live, live drawing. So when I first started doing live, it was just... Um, Nancy and me. <laughs> Sometimes there's just one or two person and just go like, Ooh, hi. Good evening. Oh, I like this. And then they would just disappear after that. So yeah, it just yeah, it's it's nice, you know. So it just feels like I'm kind of um I'm okay with that, you know. Uh, it's just that you know, like when you are kind of waiting, I I I know sometimes I feel like when you are watching a live, sometimes it's not just about like watching the person, uh, paint. It's actually like kind of getting together with people that you know, um, because you guys watch the the live together. So today feels a bit quiet because not a lot of people, um, you know, the usual folks are not around. Um, so it can be a bit, like, kind of weird, <laughs> in a way. Yeah, so it's just me. <laughs> Plain old me. <laughs> Paolo says I am still here, but I have nothing to say to be honest. Also, it's very hot. Oh, come on, Paolo. Your hot is never as hot as here. Uh, but uh, the, the only reprise that we have is that, um, reprise? Or reprise? <laughs> is that it recently has been raining. I mean, I, I don't think I like it when it rains, but it's better than it being super hot. Um, I'm not sure it, whatever, over at Ari's side whether it's the same. Like, do you get like the rain recently? Oh, 27? 27 is okay! <laughs> 27 is a good, good temperature. It's such a, it's a, it's a very nice temperature. Yeah, it's always 30-ish here in Asia, in Southeast Asia. So, mm, you are in, in a good weather. Yeah. But I understand. Like, you, you came from, like, really cold, right? Because it was, like, um, the winter and everything. And then suddenly it became, like, 27, like, for that. Because um, we have the... It's the... Spring's coming. Oh, it's already spring. It's probably already spring because you already changed the timing and everything. Yeah, I guess that's the difference. Oh, it's been raining since last week. Is that good? Like, do you prefer that? <laughs> and Paulo says, not when you are wearing pants. Next week, I'll be wearing shorts. <laughs> okay. We are always wearing shorts, so yeah, it doesn't matter to us. <laughs> No, I'm not. Like, I have when I go to work, I can't wear shorts. But if I can wear shorts, I will be wearing shorts. And yeah, and that's what I'm... I am not... I am not too perturbed by that because I'm always wearing shorts. Yeah, shorts are a good thing, you know. Hey, let me just kind of check my colors. Uh, I feel like I need to put in a little bit more colors, like, probably like here or something. Yeah. But, but is it like more or less um, hot than it is like same period of time? Like last year, was it as hot or was it like even hotter? I feel like in general, um, you know, it's just getting hotter and hotter. So especially I think in Singapore, it's, I mean, I think it's everywhere. Like this whole global, global warming thing is real. Like it's everything is just everywhere. It's getting so hot. Um, so it, it's not difficult to see how it might get even hotter oh i tell you luckily i did this one because i feel like it's helping me kind of look at all the different individual um like leaves leaves petals 
properly. Yeah. Rain is nice. Oh, RK says, I love the rain and thunderstorms. The rain is nice. <laughs> flood plus lightning and thunder is not. <laughs> yeah, flood is not. Um, I mean, luckily in Singapore, we don't get, um, yeah, like flooding. There's like a lot of water, but we don't get like flood, flood. So I think we are pretty lucky in that sense, but not so for other countries, you know, like you can get like really bad flooding. Um, yeah, so I, I, I must say I'm pretty lucky in that sense. Yeah. And you know, like in, in some countries, like they also had um, earthquakes and, you know, in Asia, like at least like in Singapore, we don't get like earthquakes or like tornadoes, like very rarely. Um, so yeah, I'm lucky. Okie doke. Alrighty. So yes, I'm gonna just adjust this. Oh, hold up. Mm, yeah. This is a bit dark. So I, I feel like with this, I can paint better. <laughs> oh, okay, Nari says, Oh, I went out last night with my sister and niece and it was raining, but a nice small drizzle. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, it's the kind, I feel like a nice drizzle, like a very light, um, no thunderstorm kind of drizzle. It's good. It, it's, it's, it makes, um, Okay, but I think the worst is when you get like a really hot day, right? A super duper hot day. And then suddenly it rains for a little bit. And then it like, and the sun comes up like really soon after that. Oh, that is like, you feel like you're in a steamer. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Sometimes it happens and it's like horrible. It's like the worst, worst weather ever. Like you rather it not rain in the first place, you know? So that's, that's how crazy it is to be in um, a weird place, you know, like when, when that, that kind of weather happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Indonesia's got everything. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like you have the, you have earthquakes, you have volcanoes, you have tornado. <laughs> you know, for some reason, I saw tornado. <laughs> I saw tornado and then there was like, uh, I was like, mm what what is it about tomato <laughs> and then i like oh okay you mean tornado okay <laughs> and hailstones you don't know that's one thing that indonesia does not have snow <laughs> that's what we don't have here either like how i wish like we get snow do we actually do you get snow at all like even a little bit in like the mountain region is there like a what's the tallest mountain in indonesia is it Okay, I'm bad in my geography. Let me think. Is there a mountain in Indonesia? Is there one? Yet? Oh, yet! Really? <laughs> so one day, one day when, when Indonesia has, um, yeah, snow. <laughs> that would be, that would be so strange. I mean, that would be so scary. I feel like if one day Southeast Asia, we get snow, it'd be so scary. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe. You never know. Uh, there'll be like a disaster movie happening. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, let me. Oh gosh. Oh, what? Really? Papa, it in fact has glacier and sometimes snow. Oh, <gasps> serious? Have you been there? Have you been? I, I know like Papa, like the um, Indonesia is so big. So there's a portion of it that's like at the near to like next to Eastern Malaysia, right? Um, yeah, I've never been to that part. Have you been to that part in Indonesia? That was, that's the part where you get like a lot of, um, what's that word? Like um, the woods, um, I mean jungles and, and, and just native people and I don't know what else they have there, but it's it's somewhere that is so foreign, uh, and so so kind of far far away. Um, I don't even know if I know anyone who actually lived there. I we been I been to Kuching though. Kuching is like at the eastern part of Malaysia. I've been there, and it's probably on that same area, isn't it? Oh, okay. A ticket to pa pa Papua Papua capital costs more than a ticket to Taipei. Oh, really? I guess it has to do with like how frequent you have like flights there, right? Because it's probably not a lot of people would want to go there. Um, 
Yeah. But why would you go there? <laughs> like, other than uh, if you were from there, you know, like if you were native there. Yeah. So anyone else, anyone going anywhere this um, this holiday season, um, like in 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 uh, in in June, for the summer, anyone like how are you going anywhere? How about um, who else? Ari, are you going? Are you going anywhere? And your sister is she still coming to Singapore or or, or Malaysia? Like I could I could give her like tips where to get things for for you. <laughs> I'm gonna like um. Pain from dark to like light. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I feel like this is this is this is what I'll do. And I'm gonna use the the cobalt, uh, blue deep right now. So I feel like I'm happy with the black. No 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 no. Okay, I'm not that happy with the black yet because I wanna use my hammer, my 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 Acuris, Acuris black. Okay, for some of these darker portion. Okay. So it's gonna be like granulating and it's gonna be like super cool to have the colors just you know do its stuff at the bottom here uh yeah okay so that's that's what i am hoping to do with the aquarius black um yeah and i have not written to uh the uh, mr ramon smalls okay <laughs> I'm supposed to write, right? <laughs> I don't know what's stopping me. There's tons of stuff, tons of things happening. Like today, I had to go for a training and I was like out of like office and there are a lot of tons of stuff waiting for me to do at work. And yeah, it's just, yeah, tons of tough stuff like happening in, in, in this part, like in, at this time, there's a lot, lot of work that I had to do. So it's just, yeah, that's life happening. A lot of things that I wish to do, I can't do. Well, that's how it is. Oh, yes. That's close to the... Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, yeah, sister's coming. Okay, so if she needs help, just let me know, okay? Like, if she needs to know how to go to certain places. Um, you know, she can, just, can always, like, message me or something, you know? Oh, I didn't know it's so close. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, I think sometimes... Um, actually, there are not a lot of not a lot of shops in singapore as well like that's just um uh what is that the overjoy right and there's also straight art and art friend ah that's it and if you need anything just ask um yeah i will help if i can why aren't you coming over it'd be nice to have like a little kind of a you know um wondrous gathering mini gathering this is something that I think it would be uh would like be a dream to to for me to to come like a dream come true if we all get to meet up one day you know to to just sketch draw together that would be funny I, I don't know like would be would how would it happen like would we be talking like would <laughs> I sometimes wonder you know okay I am done with this I'm gonna like start to work on the uh use the cobalt blue deep now okay and I'm hoping that it's gonna be blue enough. Um, to make a difference okay to the color to the paint so let's go am i using the tiny brush yeah not really tiny i'm using like a medium medium size brush. okay i want to use a size zero size zero is it size zero uh, no one okay size one so i'm gonna use a cobalt blue d okay it's a kind of a it, it, i feel like it's very close the color is closer to like smoked so i don't know <laughs> Let's just dry it out, okay. So it's just so granulating. Um, in fact, it's one of the colors used in the granulating series. You know, there's a super granulating colors. The reason why or that I learned about this um, beautiful color is from because I reviewed the super granulating colors. And I think one of a few, probably one of the colors actually used this one. I forgot which one it is, but yeah. yeah. I love the color though. It's, it's very, it's nice. Not my favorite. Um, I prefer this to, to like um, ultramarine blue, okay? So, yeah, yep, yep, yeah, okay. And that's like a kind of a purple blue over here. So I will try to, yeah, add that purple blue in here. And also like the bottom. So it, it's very granulating. So it's gonna look a bit different from the rest, okay? I think I feel I'm starting to, can you see starting to feel like I'm a little bit, 
like loose in the way I paint now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, she's actually used to work in KL in Singapore back in the nineties, and the hands. Ah, I see. So she has been working. So she probably knows her way very well, huh? That's good. That's good. So she probably doesn't need my help. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I hope she ha enjoys. Um, the time here and you yeah she can get stuff for you um, but if she needs to know on like you know like what's a good paper to get like if she want to get you a present you know she can always <laughs> contact me but I'm sure you would have tell you would have told her what you wanted right so yeah no problem at all yeah but in fact like I just forgot like um I realized that um this month is actually Nancy's birthday month <laughs> so I didn't have time. I think last last um the last live stream we did with which was the show and tell, right? I didn't really have time to go through um the birthdays, but it's it's um her birthdays there and I think also uh Rep Sophie. I think Rep Sophie as well. A few other people's birthdays. So yeah, I haven't seen Rep Sophie for a while, so I I hope she's okay. Um yeah, so just uh and she said like it's Earth Earth Day or something as well. So I don't keep like all these like notes, um, all these some notes, you know. Um, so we could kind of know like celebrate our fellow uh, uh, wondrous birthdays. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm again trying my best to. Oh, you can't see right. It's the top part. Oh, okay. So you're gonna ask your friend to buy wall. Okay, watercolors in Japan. Are you looking at? I remember you're saying you were looking at the um Turner's, and Hobie. Yeah, but I I would seriously think you should consider just like getting Hobie. I don't know about Turner's. It feels like after people like um mentioned about it, I think they are more known for their uh, the acrylic gouache. My sister used to use the acrylic gouache uh for her pebble. She paints like pets on pebble. Um, just for fun. I think she no longer sells it. I don't know, but um, and she uses acrylic gouache And and yeah, they are pretty well known for their gouache um, acrylic gouache um, Probably if you are looking at watercolor, yeah, definitely get Hobin and I'm um, like in end of June I'm going on a holiday with the RGS Pro and family and we're going to, to, to Hokkaido yay and I will probably visit um, I think it's central the bread the, 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 the building that has or the brand that has the watercolor the shop in in Sapporo is called central so I will I remember I was there once I uh, was there many years back when I was first visited uh, Hokkaido and I remember it as being it's not too small it's kind of sizable it's not as big as Sekaido you know the one in in um, Tokyo but it's it's big enough right it's it's good it's good quite good okay so I just I will go there there so I feel like um April is kind of like a kind of a month where everyone is so busy um yeah so yeah it, it's kind of like you know it in in um february and in 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 january you're kind of like recovering right you're just coming back from holiday because you know december is kind of like the holiday period and everybody's gone and then like when you if you have any plans right anything that you need to do what are you gonna wait for you, you're gonna like have to have to prepare and probably you could only like start to work on it like or really work on it during in in in, uh, in April. So that's this is probably that the best time that you can start to do something, um, yeah. If anything, uh, which is why almost all, like most people are kind of like uh, it's probably the most ha like crazy period of the year. So yeah, that's about it. So me slowly painting. Oh, oh, Ari says, I want to go to Hokkaido as well, but in late July so I could see the snow festival. But it's so cold. I mean, I've not been to Hokkaido and it's like super cold, but I, I think it would be so cold. <laughs> Are you sure you want to be there when it's like that cold? Like people go to Hokkaido to ski. Um, I mean, I don't ski, but I know like some people do and they really just like, 
it's it's the highlight and it's just you know if it's skiing time it's gonna be super cold i'm not i i don't know <laughs> and gina says i've been busy paint oh busy painting paper plates in black with needon acrylic <laughs> or oh, practicing folk art from norway and russia oh that's nice and paper plate is such a good idea as well but i feel like if you have you could also use it for other purpose if you want to like you could use paper plate for um like you know holding acrylic paints um and you know and painting as well like you could use it as like the surface the medium um like the mixing parrot palette so it has many many functions and and uses which is so cool so that's thanks for sharing um gina for for the, the plate idea yeah it's slowly coming like slowly slowly <laughs> ari wants to freeze <laughs> oh and paulo says that he would love to visit hokkaido as well how long have you been to japan i remember your you mentioned you haven't been to asia right have you yeah it'd be nice i think you should you should like you should visit japan once in your lifetime yeah because it's um it's not, not nothing's better than actually like tr like going to the place and like experiencing it and like i think now i mean for for us like for singaporeans i don't know about other countries but the exchange rate is good because it used to be like a singapore dollar one singapore dollar you could get just like is it seven hundred seventy dollars that was like when it was when when japanese yen was super strong like we could only get like 70 70 dollars but now um like recent like just just today if one singapore dollar we could like we could get um 113 dollars one one three um and i think it's it's amazing because there's it's it, it becomes so much more affordable like it used to be so expensive and then now it's just more affordable so yeah it's it's just time to visit japan like you see all the singaporeans flock to japan i feel like there's probably more just singaporeans than japanese in japan <laughs> oh okay oh we love to see the pumpkins <laughs> just for the pumpkins no when you're in japan when you're in hokkaido it's for the potatoes potatoes and corn so they make like awesome potatoes um the potatoes are nice and fluffy and then you know have you tasted the potato hokkaido potato farm um potato um strips not strips like just fried potatoes it's so good um and they'll really have these like sweet corns that's so nice so sweet and um crunchy at the same time so it's not you know it's not like they added stuff to it it's just genuinely so crunchy and nice um uh, and sweet yeah um yeah i'm looking forward to that one um and also melon melon is also the thing you should go to hokkaido for the melon it's so good oh you should go find a way to go there <laughs> oh i've never been to asia and never will why not why not like what why why is it stopping you <laughs> yeah i i don't know i feel like it's it you know um if you can try to make it happen yeah yeah it's about regrets like you, you do not want to live in regrets um or maybe it's just too different from i don't know like is there a reason why you're not gonna want to visit japan or any asia countries like is it too i don't know too different or is it like family because you know maybe family doesn't you you had obligations you can't go too far i mean i totally understand that if that's the case oh expensive uh it's true it's pretty expensive that's true but it might be cheaper you know or like it could be like the trip of your lifetime kind of thing like if you're gonna go for a trip then this would be the one that you take for your life i, I don't know so I think I must be pre I mean as Asians I think we are pretty lucky because we we get like tra I would say travel is very cheap but it's more affordable now um yeah and and really really you know if you want to go it's just close by for us it's just like you know asking me if I would like visit for example Portugal right um I I don't know I feel like Portugal is 
kind of far for me. <laughs> and I, I, I believe it's, it's probably the same. Like if for you, it'd be like, oh no, Asia is so far and it's, it's probably like expensive and it's going to be very different. It's going to be nothing that you, uh, you know, you know, uh, yeah, but I mean, try, try your best if you can. Yeah, because you will change your mind. <laughs> you will, it will be, yeah, you, you will be a different person after that. There you go. Oh, I didn't do this well. I didn't do some of these well. <laughs> oh, you have to walk the dogs. Okay, okay. Yeah, I understand. Having to leave work and family would be impossible. Yeah, but I mean, you will get like some way to... Oh, you have to walk. <laughs> you have to walk the dogs. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I am, I'm going away, right? Uh, we're going away for, for a few... Oh, no, what did I do? We're gonna go away to 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 um Hokkaido, so what what we're gonna do is gonna have have a, a relative come and and like sit the house and like they're gonna sit the dogs for us too, so yeah I mean it can be done yeah but it's just you you got to plan you got to think through a lot of things, um and you're gonna like enlist people to help you, so it's definitely not gonna be easy it's it's a lot of planning yeah I can. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I think it's it's definitely not easy. Well, try, try, okay? Try your best. Because you, you it will be so cool to, to visit um, Asia because it's just so different from the rest of the world. There, there you go. So I am now trying to just use the Cobalt Violet. I'm not, <laughs> why do I keep saying Cobalt Violet? Cobalt Blue D on the purple, like the past they are more magenta. Okay, I think it would look so much better if I am able to use um, the, the, the magenta, the real magenta. I will make do, yeah, because I have to paint a hydrangea. It's, it's, it's what I am, uh, I've been wanting to do, so I will paint it. But I can imagine if I were to be able to use like an opera or something, it'd be so much better, it'd be so much nicer. Oh well, oh well, <laughs> it has to be done some way, like we have to use this color anyway, so somehow we will do it, okay? Uh, wait, wait, let me just kind of check that I got this all right. Oh, uh, I'm telling you, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I feel like this one is gonna be white. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm not gonna think too much. I'm just gonna paint it this way. I feel like sometimes I am not so careful. I see things wrongly. <gasps> ah. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, your sister-in-law is going to Southeast Asia this year. It's like 5,000 euros. I don't have that, that money. It's that simple. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, it's actually okay. It, it I, I think it really depends. Um, You know, I, I, I think it's fine. Um, if, if you... Um, have your, you know, if you thought through it and it's okay, um, yeah, it's fine. Like for me, like I think I will never, ever be able to go to like, I don't know, like Africa or like like um North America, because it's like you, North America is so expensive. It's so far. It's like it's it's a. I, I don't think it's a dream, but it's it's something that I cannot understand. Like I don't think I will be able to go because it's just so far away. It takes so long to go, um, and it's just so different. Like I don't even know what they eat. I feel like I will be so lost there. Um, so, like for you, it's Asia, but for me, it's it's South America. I feel like it's somewhere that it's gonna be very difficult for me. Yeah. Anyone here has gone like been to South America? I think it's a nice place. Um, like it would be nice to go, but I feel like it's just too far. I will never ever be going. Like, it the flight itself is gonna be like twenty six hours. Like, can I imagine flying for twenty six hours? That's madness. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I make peace that I will never go to South America. Uh, well, and Gina says, "Oh, my art will forty two fifty mil cups are out for delivery. So excited to try them! So wait for them to go on sale for fifty three dollars." Oh, thank you, Gina. Thanks. <laughs> like I try my best, uh, but I feel like I am not there yet. Like I think that I've left a lot of these petals unpainted. Um, yeah, and and just getting them the colors right is 
it's not easy and I feel like I have a lot to do especially the details um, there are all these vines vines veins that I have not painted so that's gonna take me a while to get there oh and Paolo says not me my sister-in-law has gone there oh she's so well traveled how does she feel like how well is it worth it to go all the way is it considered far for you oh you like it too <laughs> oh thank you like is it considered far like southeast south america for for europe how long does it take for you to get there from 12 hours maybe oh she's retired and she's alone ah i see okay okay yeah so she she has like no family to take care of kind of like there's no one that she has to like make sure she's there all the time for yeah i guess yeah they they they, they get they they do have like more freedom in a way yeah and when you have to provide for the family and you have like a kind of a demanding job like you do um it, it can be difficult i can understand yeah yep 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 okay wait let me look at my painting again <laughs> what's going on i feel like i'm missing some part okay this is this one why is it like that like something is wrong here like i felt like i made a mistake here okay let me scrub this off <laughs> ah this is hard so i think the good thing the good thing is that i actually um this paper from bao hong is it's very durable so i could actually do this and scrub it all i mean i can't scrub everything but i can scrub a good number of uh okay she has a group of people that makes this trip in a group oh nice that's the best you know and when you're in a group it's it's kind of easy so end of the year um i'm going to china with my parents um because we um our extended family my dad's uh, brother or my uncle family's going as well and they're going with like like a lot of people so my um can i say it's like my sister in no what okay the my cousin's wife cousin-in-law <laughs> my cousin's wife um she she's kind of like she's very sociable she, she she knows a lot of people um and she somehow ooh, has these like connection and they managed to like kind of book a big a good deal um like she's kind of trying to make a oh sorry for that okay you better now okay yeah so she 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 she's making some sort of deals to to go to china um and she's like arranging stuff and we already sort of um we, we have uh expressed our interest and we already got the tickets um and we're going with like 20 over people um they're all we don't know i don't know any one of them except like the uncle who's going and also the the cousin and the cousin-in-law um and um yeah but it'll be fun like i think these are the people who travel together and i guess you meet these people because some of them been there and they they can kind of plan for you so yeah it's good always to have these um sort of like um, people to, to go traveling with and of course there's always these like travel agency things um people you, you you can pay to do all the organizing so she's doing some she's striking out some sort of deal with them um to get some discounts and you know like so that they could like bring us with a and 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 it might be cheaper and we will be only going with people that we know or like she knows um and you know especially i think it's important like if you're going um, traveling and you can go with like a group of people that you know it'd be so much better oh you love to go oh yeah i've been there like um been there like th three or four times have i let me think uh i've been to jiu zai go okay like Shichuan. um and it's beautiful like it's it's undeniably beautiful um but i think the time when i was there uh, because Sichuan went through the, the earthquake I wouldn't say like really close but it was like maybe it was a very devastating I don't know if you remember Sichuan, um, Sichuan earthquake so it, it was pretty bad and a lot of like the uh, buildings were, were destroyed and a lot of people died so we even had to like I wouldn't say had to but they brought us to, to these like um, 
like locations where they they had like you know like people die and they they made they made like a memorial 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 <laughs> like a place to kind of remember things like things that happened because when the school went down um there were some people who were saved and of course there were some people who perished but they were saying like this this school um that they preserved was so well made that um almost all the students were saved um and the the school um half the half the school came went down and um the 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 clock on the school uh, i think it was like ministry b- building or something uh stood still like it it stopped like at that moment where where the earthquake um happened so they they thought it was kind of amazing that near the school like a lot of people uh, managed to 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 get out of it of course there were people who who didn't manage to but you know it, it was like the minority it would be something that they thought that it would like a lot of people would perish but yeah they many of them somehow made it so yeah so that's i remember that place because we did spend like the whole afternoon there yeah it's just it's it's interesting sometimes when you go with groups you go to places that you never know were that interesting oh okay all right so <laughs> i think paulo says he, he even have been to oh we haven't even been to morocco and it was so close Oh, we should go. Morocco is a nice place. Okay, yeah. Enjoy walking the doggy. See you. See you, Paolo. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> and Gina says she found a new fun way to decorate her small painted papers. Oh, tattoo for skin? Huh? How does that work? You paint on a paper and then you use it as tattoos? That's pretty interesting. How does that work? And use watercolor for it? It's always interesting to see all these new innovations, like how people, like different people do stuff. Um, they, they count up different ways of doing stuff, doing things. Uh, very, very fun. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, always looking out for new stuff, um, new things that we can uh, use, uh, you know, um, as, as watercolor, uh, lit colors. Ah, okay, okay. So I'm gonna just make sure that I I feel like something is not so right here. It's not. Yeah, it's not working. This part is not working for me. I feel like it's. Yeah, I have to do something. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that first, and then um, yeah, and then I'm gonna. I feel like this is something is wrong here. Like what is this doing here? It should be actually here. Yeah, it should be here. What is, what is this one? Like what is this one doing here? Like that oops. Like that soups. <laughs> hey, well. I feel like now I, I'm just like thoroughly mix all the different um ultramarine blues that I no longer know what ultramarine blue I'm using. I'm just kind of using all the different ultramarine blues together. Yeah, that's okay. It's fine. <laughs> and then there's this big one over here. Okay, and, and there's also this one here. Yeah, all these different ones. Just happening. Okay. I'm not even sure if this is the right thing to do. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that this and then that's this part, right? So that is this part that just kind of like it's more blue than the rest. And then there's this part. Um it's kind of like also more blue than the rest. And uh, let me just see if there's any ones that I have to think about adding colors to. Like this one is gonna be like darker than the rest. Okay, yeah. So it's gonna be a deep blue color going on here. I think I should also just put some blues here. Yes, okay, day. And then I let me just. I think this is also a nice deep blue color, the black, and like here as well. So it's not just full black. I feel like there is some sort of blue going on, and then um, a bit of light blue, and some of the blues here as well. So I. Uh, 
I feel like I need to work a little bit more on the details. Mm. Still difficult. I don't think I did a good job. I think it's um yeah, I feel like I haven't it's not um I'm not too careful still with the like I tell myself I got to be careful. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not difficult. It's not that easy. I feel like I'm not that careful too. Still. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how people actually do like botanic painting. Are they like? Do they actually like paint stickily? pain every day I probably have no like patience for that I'm trying my best <gasps> this is so bad Arrgh, why am I so bad at this I'm not careful enough I feel okie doke so G Gina is Oh, she said that you just wet the back of them. Yes, I watercolor rainbow backgrounds first. Oh, okay. So it's just it's just tattoos. Oh, Gina, thank you. Oh my god, Gina, thanks for the donation. Oh man, thank you, Gina. Gina is always there, like for, um, being so supportive all during all the live streams. Thank you. Oh. Everybody give Gina a thumbs up. <laughs> Nancy, oh my god, Nancy, are you lurking? <laughs> I'm gonna add a little emoticon. It's just a little like pink wavy thingy. Hi, hello Nancy, and thanks Gina so much. Thank you. Hey, yo, yay. Thank you, Gina. More love for Gina. <laughs> thanks, Gina. Hi Nancy, how are you? Why? Uh we were just I was just kind of like thinking about you <laughs> like where is where is my where is my where is nancy <laughs> like the the whole chat is um feeling so so lonely like we it just feel doesn't feel the same without nancy around um yeah without the the usual suspect around so yeah but but yeah it, it's it's still good like to have people like watch and, and and you know like i feel like they are working their best to to like kind of like um, <laughs> keep everything there uh, while you guys are not around <laughs> but anyway yeah thanks 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 back thanks thanks Gina thank you so much yeah so Gina I think Gina is on Facebook so if you would like to see Gina's work right I think you just go to Facebook and look for her name like her name is just there yeah Gina uh Bado Bado oh you were looking no why were you looking oh Nancy <laughs> Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming out to uh, save the day. <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah, I mean, uh, how are you? How's, how's everything? What breakfast are you going to have? Um, it's always a question that we will ask um, Nancy. <laughs> and have you been painting? What, what flower are you going to paint, Nancy? I think it, there are people who are doing um high uh high hyacinth scene higher scene and then I think um uh, Ari's gonna do the uh Halleborig or is it Hellebore? <laughs> Hellebore. <laughs> and uh oh hold on I think the chat is like kind of stuck. Okay, hold on for a minute. I feel like the chat is sometimes giving some problem. Okay, let me just kind of like uh adjust the adjust the, the chat a little bit okay chat is here chat box okay okay gonna re restart it okay it's just kind of stuck you know yeah oh, so i am just um going to finish this one i wouldn't say i'm done though like i think there is a lot of details that i'm missing and i have to like kind of look at the different parts i mean generally is there okay generally is there but i think that a lot of details are missing out on um like uh yeah the like remember like remember the reference photograph there's all these like water droplets which i think it would be 
you know, good to put in, um, it, be, it would be like, I should, I have to put it in because that's the, that's the reason why I picked this one because I wanted to have these um, details in there. I got to think about how to, I feel like I am not, um, I need to practice a bit more on getting these like subtle details, um, like these uh, veins and, and how these like, I think you need probably need like two brushes or maybe you shouldn't be too anal. I don't know. Like I really wonder why it is, uh, what would be the best way to paint these? Yeah, maybe two brushes would be good. I don't know. So I, I'm just gonna try with two brushes and see like one with water um, to just kind of dilute it out and then just one with the like the color uh, just so that the color could spreads out better yeah I don't know if that's the best way to do so because it would be difficult to actually just use one brush for it yeah and certain parts are like darker so like some of the veins here are much darker than some others but it kind of fits so the most, I think the most difficult thing is to kind of like having the colors fade off um, to a more natural state because yeah, some of it is just a little bit hard to do. I think, I, I feel like I, I need a lot of practice. Um, oh, that is actually this part that is a bit blue. So I'm just going to paint this in. Just kind of like highlights a little bit how it, it looks. Some of this blue that's going on here there's a bit of blue and then there's this part that's a bit darker i'm not sure if you can see this but yeah this is this is what i see um yeah okay and then this part is just a bit darker blue at the bottom and i think i also need to paint a bit here like here right and then just have it like drag down this way So this is how it would look. Oh, okay. And um, Nancy says, a friend gifted me a variety of maple syrup in some pancake waffle mix. Unfortunately, I have no milk and it's required in order to make it. Could you add water? Like, I think water should work, right? Oh, and oh, you're looking at hydrangea as a possible paint subject, pa uh, subject to paint. Yeah, it is. Um, I, I think that's for me a no-brainer like because I love hydrangea so much so I'll definitely paint hydrangea because I cannot think of any other color, like alphabet it will appear right because you're doing H so I definitely paint will paint the hydrangea and I feel like I'm still not that good at it yet like even though I already painted it <laughs> I feel like it can be very much it can be much better so I, I think you would like do a good job right you will ho hopefully you will you, you will do a better job than me because you've seen me um struggle trying to make it look good yeah so Nancy you're having um, um waffles or you are still like kind of figuring out what what you can make with what you have mm, I guess you can like you could just add water to it if you want to I I don't know I don't know like instead of using milk okay doke yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think what what I'll do, it's close to two hours. So I think what I'll do in uh, later on um, is to kind of look at it, um, maybe compare the picture. So I think the good thing about having a daylight, I probably wouldn't be painting the rest. Um, I will just leave this as it is. I wouldn't be painting the, the leaves. I might, I might add a leaf here, okay? But I will probably be using um, a different black so maybe it will be a black like this um i'll be painting a leaf here i wouldn't be painting a leaf at the top so it'll be just a leaf and this and i will hopefully be able to get some details here um, a little bit better so we'll see how that goes um probably with more veins and then with some of the water droplets on top uh with some gouache uh as like white color um yeah that's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, Nancy says she's having French toast. Yeah, if it's not pancake, right? Then French toast is probably um, something you can work with. Oh, and a cup of hot chocolate. Yum! <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. 
It's um, 12 a.m. in Singapore and uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll have supper. Yeah, but thank you so much everyone for joining me today. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys again. Thanks Gina for the donation. Thanks for the coffee. Um, I will have a very good cup of coffee tomorrow. Um, thank you for that. And I will finish this um, and I will share it uh, on Instagram. And I also will share this during the show and tell. Um, next week, I, I will be doing this um, on a Saturday morning. So I hope that you join me on Saturday morning. Uh, it'll be 8 a.m. Singapore time. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, French toast sounds great. Yeah, so it will be in the morning. It wouldn't be like, it will be like tomorrow. So how, how is that word for? It will be on the month, like the Saturday morning. So it probably be a Friday evening. Um, and like just look out for the announcement and then just do a conversion. Um, just go to Google and then type like, um, uh, what is the Singapore plus eight time, you know, like Singapore time to your time and then like starting from eight, like 8 a.m. Like what time it would be, okay? Thanks, Horsewoman. Thank you. Yeah, and Horsewoman, woman's like, um, oh, it's 10 p.m. on Saturday in Texas. Okay, cool, cool. So if it's probably a good time. Um, I hope it's not too late for all of you. Um, and if you have any like, ooh, look, we have a little, we have a little, oh, he flew away. Okay, that was a little bug, okay. <laughs> he was just like, oh, is it a spider? Oh, I think it's a fly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a little fly. Um, <laughs> oops. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you guys again. Um, and, and that I would probably be painting something blue, like a blue landscape. Um, I already have the picture in mind, so it's gonna be fun. I think it'll be fun because I love painting landscape and it should be an interesting landscape to do. So yeah, I will share this one and I hope you guys have a great weekend, great week, uh, great week and uh, ahead and then I'll see you guys again, okay? Um, thank you, the housewoman. I look forward to see your artwork, housewoman, and i like to see all of your artwork and um, Red Knight is in AR is joining, um, is she sharing her artwork? I would love to see that, okay? Um, go to all the score if you want to see more um, discussion and like, yeah, we'll see you guys again next week, okay? Um, see you guys and yeah and bye bye everybody have a great weekend bye bye thanks for watching <laughs> this is a uh, heart shape <laughs> thank you so much heart heart <laughs> bye bye everybody